What's up guys, I Dubai Soap here and today Apple released iOS 10.2 beta to, to registered developers. And as usual on this video I'm going to give you guys some of the new features. There are a few new features in the software update in comparison to iOS 10.2 beta 1 which was released last week. If you want to check that video out it's going to be linked in the description down below. Now the first thing you may notice is the new TB application. This application is going to serve as a hub for all of your TV services. When you first launch it, there's going to be an introduction telling you what it is. So you can find all of your movies and TV shows and purchases in one single app using one single sign-in. And I'll get to that here in a few seconds. It also supports third-party applications. So if you have services like DirecTV, Hulu, so on, those applications, once they get updated, they'll be supported for this TV application as well. Now you can also discover new movies and TV shows as well inside of this application. Now this new TV application is going to be single through iCloud so it works on all your devices once you sign in once it's gonna also be available on the Apple TV once the software update is released to it as well so right here in settings I first want to give you guys the build number 14 C 5069 C that is the current build number for iOS 10.2 beta 2 what does the application have to offer what does it look like well down here you have the watch now this section here is gonna take you to the store to purchase movies and TV shows again these are gonna be linked to all your Apple devices so if you start watching a movie or a TV show in this application you can continue watching it on another device so if you're watching it on your Apple TV you have to leave continue watching it on your iPad on the go you also have the store where you can go ahead and purchase uh, new movies and TV shows and you can search of course and right here you have all your movies and TV shows that you're currently watching now down here in settings if you go into the new provider application extension right here it is you can set up all your username and passwords for all your different accounts again once all the applications start getting updating to support this TB application you'll be able to sign in it's gonna be one single sign in for all of your accounts so you don't have to remember all of the passwords now another change in iOS 10.2 beta 2 is the ability to set up your SOS emergency stuff right here. So the first option is a brand new option right here. So if you click the sleep wake button five times, it's gonna contact the emergency services. The second button is gonna be a countdown sound that's gonna make before it contacts the emergency services. Right below that, I talked about this last week. You can set up your health application with your contacts so it alerts your emergency contacts. So if you have your brother, your mother as an emergency, it'll contact the emergency services and whoever you have set up as your emergency contact as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the sleep wake button five times to see how this works. This is gonna be the first time I try this. There it is. We can cancel it. And that's how it works. So again, this was the first time I tried it and it seems to be working just fine. I also wanted to quickly share with you guys some of the Geekbench scores with the latest beta in comparison to the previous one. The first beta of iOS 10.2 comes in at 3404 on a single core score and the second beta at a 3390 on a single core score. So a slight decrease, but again, there's a margin for error. The software does not feel any slower. We also have the multi-core score at 5550 and the second beta 5541. Again, that margin for error, like I mentioned, is always there. The software feels as snappy as the previous version. You can also create a widget of this new TV application right there, and you can add it to your widgets panel right here in iOS. So you also have the widget right there, so it shows you the latest movies and TV shows that you're currently watching on the go with your widgets. And I also wanted to share with you guys some of the known issues that were fixed, the media player framework not working properly, also in the messages application, some URL extensions were not working properly as well. We also had some minor issues with the keyboard that were also addressed with this one of course we have the SOS emergency that I just talked about and you can now hand off phone calls or messages from other devices that are not connected to your network so you have an iPad uh, that receives a FaceTime call you can also send that to an iPod touch which is not connected to the network as well and all that is going to be tied to one single account your Apple ID other than that everything seems to be running as you might expect no new wallpapers we already got those no dark mode as of yet but everything is running smoothly I'm hoping that this iOS 10.2 is officially released to the public by the end of November. We could be seeing a release here soon, maybe four or five betas, and right before December, we might see the official release to the public. Again, this is for developers at the time. Public beta testers most likely will see this update tomorrow or the day after, as usual, from Apple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just updating you guys on the latest information in terms of iOS beta releases. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will catch you guys really soon. Peace.